right now we'll be joined on the phone by the pitcher for the Musselman Appleman, Baden Hartman. He threw a perfect game last night, a twelve nothing or thirteen nothing victory over Moorfield. And hey, Baden, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing great. And uh, I was going through last night. We were on. A, we were calling the uh, Martinsburg Jefferson game, and I looked down and I said, "Oh my!" Like I just look. I was like, "This is not happening right now." But you were able to get through those seven innings and not allow a base runner, a perfect game. What was that like down there at Moorfield? Uh, it felt good to come out there and do our thing, and um, like all my pitches that night were working. And our defense played good. My my catcher, Taryn, he caught a good game, and things were clicking that game. Baden, uh, obviously, you know, a you know, historic-type performance for you. Uh, what does this, this performance kind of mean for you, and how do you hope it helps your team get some momentum heading into uh, sectionals? Uh, boosted my confidence and our team's confidence. Hopefully it will pick up back when we get to sectionals and it just keep things rolling. Baden, you also had 12 strikeouts in the game, so you were definitely wheeling and dealing throughout the entire seven innings. Just take us through the emotion of it all in that final out that sealed the deal. Um, it felt amazing. Whenever the I threw a curveball to the last kid for strike three, it just felt cool to end the game like that with a strikeout and all my teammates come up on the mound and cheer me on. It was, it was cool. When did you kind of know that it was going to be something special during the game? Because, you know, you see a lot of MLB guys that throw no hitters and they're like, oh, I didn't realize till like the sixth or seventh inning. When did you realize that this could have been something special last night and it was? Uh, probably during, I'd say, the fifth inning. When I came into the dugout, all my teammates, like Dylan, Trevor, Austin, Jason, they're all just like talking about it. They're like, dude, you're throwing a good game right now. And they're all, like, smiling at me. I was like, don't talk to me right now. Just don't say anything. I was focused on the game. <laughs> Baden, I know uh, for you personally, um, you've kind of debated, I guess, back and forth on what you want to do after high school uh, when it comes to either playing football or baseball. Uh, has, have you made any decision yet, or are you still kind of debating on that? I'm still thinking about that. Definitely could either go both ways, but right now just still deciding on that. You still have a few weeks left of uh, your final high school baseball season. The sectional seedings uh, come out today. What are your expectations heading into the postseason after this week for your team? Um, I definitely think every single game from now on will be a a hard-fought win or hard-fought game, but if we come out like we did last night, I think we could compete with anyone in the section. It'll be all the games will be a tough game to come out. What's this season been like for you and your team? I mean, you went through that zero and three start to the season, and then that that long uh, winning streak, and then you know hit some adversity, and now coming back and kind of trying to right the tide here as you hit the postseason. What's this kind of season been like for you and your team? Uh, it's definitely had its ups and downs, but started the season out 0-3. No one wants to start out like that. And then the big 16-game win streak, that's hard to do. And then we kind of we lost a couple games back-to-back, I think like four maybe, and then came back out, started getting some wins. But yeah, this season has been, been a good season so far, and hopefully that will keep continuing throughout the section. Ben, when you look at the section and for your team, uh, you guys have beat every team in the section. You've also lost every team in the section. Uh, first of all, what's it like to play in such a competitive conference and section? And uh, you know, how do you think your team stacks up this year compared to the other teams? Um, it's definitely a tough section to win out in. So, like Hedgesville, Martinsburg, they're tough. Spring Mills is even tough to uh, beat wherever you play them and. If we get, like, maybe two seed, three seed, if we get two, we'll have home field, but I think we're going to get three seed, and it'll be tough going to their field and playing them there, so it'll be tough. Baden, my last question was uh, just touching on your final uh, moments of the high school season, but also over the summer you'll be playing for the uh, post-14 Hornets again this summer. Uh, What are you hoping to accomplish there during those few months? Uh, it'll definitely be a 
sad ending whenever high school season's over. But then right after, I have Legion Ball, and hopefully we can do things in there, do good stuff there. But it'll just be a sad ending to high school season. Be my final one ever. Baden, congrats again on the perfect game last night, and thanks for the time, and we'll see you here soon. All right, thank you, guys.